Okay, so this is lab 6.4.4, where we are going to configure a DHCP relay agent. <clears throat> and what this is for, when you do DHCP, it is a broadcast message. So the only thing that will respond is a DHCP server on your same subnet or your same network or broadcast network, whatever you want to call it. If your DHCP server is on a different network, it will not hear that broadcast message. And that's typically the case. If you're, unless you're in a really small environment, your DHCP server is going to be in a different network. So you need to build what's called a DHCP relay or a DHCP helper, an IP helper that will listen for that broadcast message and then forward it on as a unicast message directly to your DHCP server for it to reply. I typically do that in a layer three switch or a router. Uh, apparently you can do it on a Windows server too. I've never used that. I've always done it more on the networking side, but we're going to do it in a Windows server. So on this server, we have routing and remote access installed, and that is where we are going to do this. So I'm gonna to go tools and then routing and remote access. And inside of here, you're going to see Corp Server 2 that has the DHCP stuff on it. So I'm going to click on my IPv4 subnet, which is where I'm doing this. And I can then right click on general and choose new routing protocol. And in here, I'm going to add the DHCP relay agent protocol onto here. So I'll do that. And now if I refresh it, you can see I have the DHCP relay agent on here. Okay, so it wants us to add NetTeam as the relay agent interface. So I'm gonna right click on the relay agent protocol and I'm going to add an interface and I'm gonna add this NetTeam interface to it. Okay, and set the boot threshold to zero. So I'm going to go zero there, and then I'm going to configure the relay agent properties. So I need to give it the IP address of our DHCP server. So I'm going to hit OK. And now, let's see, let's get it refreshed. OK, and if I go to properties, right click, so I right clicked on it, I'm going to properties, and now I can put in the IP address of where I'm going to send or forward on these broadcast messages. So I'm going to do 192.168.0.14 as my DHCP server. So I'm going to add that in, hit apply, hit OK. Now it wants us to renew the TCP IP information on exec2. So I'm going to go back to, and it's also in building B. So I'm going to go back to floor one open up exec2 and going to open up the shell and do an IP config slash renew to force it to renew its IP address or send out a new DHCP request. Okay, so we got 192.168.10.51. Let's check and make sure it has a network connection. Oh, it's saying no internet access still. Okay, why is that? Let's do an IP config all. Oops. So I got an address. Maybe this thing just isn't updating. Oh, there we go. And this wasn't patient enough. Now it says internet access on my network connection. So good to go. Check answers and we should be good. Great.